So welcome to this new video. Today I want to give you a quick overview over Stable Cascade, uh, which was just re released a few days ago. Um, it is a new way of using models with stable diffusion. It's based on the Würstchen model, which is German for a sausage. I will link the Würstchen paper in the description below as well as the stability.ai news page where you can where you can read all the details. Well, this is a quite simple workflow. The difference to a normal uh, stable diffusion workflow is that everything is uh, divided into parts. You have a separated model for the clip. You have a separated model for the VAE as well as two models for the uh, two samplers. So it's going in three steps, A, B, C, and it's like a cascade. So uh, one step is built on the step before. The advantages of this way is that it is much faster. You can see it on the Stability AI webpage and it is not complete so far. As far as I know, there are missing the control net functionality as well as some other things. So for now, the functionality is quite basic, but you can create simple but powerful workflows with it. And I, I'm sure as announced on the Stability AI page, all the additional functionality will arrive soon. I will dive into the workflow right now and we'll, we will build it from scratch. Let's begin. All uh, used models are linked in the description. If you update your Comfy UI, all stable cascade functionality should be there. So you only need to install missing models and you should be good to go. So let's begin. So we start with a special uh, stable cascade latent image. And we use the default settings for now. So we have two outputs here, one for stage C and one for stage B. We have to create a case sampler. This is the second case sampler. And this will be our first case sampler. As said before, uh, everything is going into stages here. So we need two samplers and the VAE, which is the third step. And we will wire up everything now. So for the first case sampler, we will use the stable the stage C model and we can copy and paste this and for the second case sampler we will use the stage B model connect this and uh, the stage A model will be our VAE. So those are the three models. We will connect this to the VAE decode. Uh, we can create a safe image node here as well so that is done so as a force model we need the load clip model which we then can fill into simple clip text and code nodes one for positive and one for negative and this can be filled into the first case sampler positive and negative 
to connect everything together now, uh, especially connect the uh, text encode, the clip to the uh, positive and negative case sampler ports of the second sampler, we need two additional nodes. The first one is the is the conditioning zero out node. which can be uh, connected directly to the negative port of the second case sampler. And now the conditioning output of the conditioning zero out node needs to con be connected to the stable cascade stage B conditioning. This is because everything is built on a, like a cascade. So step by step, the different steps need to get a further conditioning. And therefore this node is needed. The output here can go to the positive input of the second sampler. And now we have to change some settings. Uh, for the second sampler, we don't need so many steps. So 10 steps is enough. The CFG with one uh, should be enough. And for the first sampler, we only need a CFG of four. That should be it. What I forgot before is to change the settings in the load clip node, the type should be stable cascade and not stable diffusion. I think we are good to go. We only need the prompt. I want to generate an astronaut in futuristic spacesuit standing in the clouds, cosmos, beautiful sky, photorealistic 8K. Let's Give it a go. So here we go. Let's try another one. And another one. Mm, I really like the results. I didn't do any speed comparison so far, but uh, on the Stabi Stability AI uh, webpage I linked below, there are some charts where you can read how faster this should be, uh, as well as all the other information about uh, the inner works of this uh, kind of workflow. Uh, I also linked the original paper of the Würstchen model. There are some more deeper informations as well. I hope I could give you a little overview how you use this new kind of model in ConfiUI. I hope I see you again soon.